There are several libraries for data visualization in Python, each with its strengths and weaknesses. Here is a quick look at some of the most popular ones. Matplotlib. Matplotlib is kind of the default plotting library for Python. It's widely used and well documented, making it a great choice for especially beginners. It provides high level of customization and can create high quality static plots, graphs and charts. And then we have Seaborn. Seaborn is a library built on top of Matplotlib. It provides a higher level interface for drawing statistical graphics, making it easier to create complex visualizations. It also has built-in support for working with Pandas data frames, which is useful for data analysis tasks. Then we have Plotly. Plotly is a library that provides interactive web-based visualizations. It's great for creating interactive plots, dashboards, and visualizations that can be embedded in websites. It also provides a wide range of chart types, including 3D plots and maps. If you'd like to learn how to use Plotly in your Streamlit apps, watch this video. Then we have Bokeh. Bokeh is another library for creating interactive visualizations. It's particularly useful for large datasets and can be used to create visualizations that run smoothly in web browsers. And lastly, we have ggplot. ggplot is a library inspired by the ggplot2 package for R. It provides a similar high-level interface for creating plots and is especially useful for creating complex, multi-layered visualizations. At the end of the day, which data visualization library you use will depend on your needs and requirements. You should probably try a couple of them and see which one you're the most comfortable with. If you'd like me to make an in-depth tutorial on one of these libraries, make sure to leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.